The Colt Model 1849 Pocket Pistol is a single-action six-shot revolver produced by Colt Patent Firearms Company in Hartford, Connecticut. It is a percussion revolver that uses the percussion cap and ball ammunition. The Colt Model 1849 Pocket Pistol is chambered for a .31 caliber projectile. It was produced from 1850 to 1873. The Colt Model 1849 Pocket Pistol was produced as the successor to Colt's famous Baby Dragoon. The Baby Dragoon was a popular pistol for many shooters throughout the United States. However, it had to be taken apart for loading. Colt's answer to that problem was the addition of a loading lever that was reintroduced in the Colt Model 1849 Pocket Pistol. The Colt Model 1849 pocket pistol was popular among Union and Confederate soldiers during the American Civil War. The revolver was not a standard issue firearm, but many of these pistols made it to the front lines of the war because they were personal firearms owned by the soldiers. The 31 caliber cap and ball revolver proved to have the stopping power needed on the battlefield. After its introduction, the popularity of the Colt Model 1849 pocket pistol began to grow. Used by soldiers during the Civil War, it also became the standard issue of the Boston Police Department. The Colt Model 1849 pocket pistol was the first pistol to become a typical issue for any police department in the United States. Between 1850 and 1873, an estimated 336,000 Colt Model 1849 pocket pistols were produced. This estimate includes 11,000 pistols that were made at Samuel Colt's facility in London, England. The Model 49 was built with an octagonal barrel and was available with barrel lengths of 3 inches up to 6 inches. Today, and for those of us who cannot afford an original 1849 pocket pistol, Uberti provides a fine reproduction. While receiving the 1849 Colt pocket pistol in a hard wooden case with all the accoutrements would be ideal, I am afraid that is not going to happen with a Uberti replica. Rather, the firearm is received in an ornate cardboard box with paperwork and the firearm wrapped in a heavily oiled clear plastic bag. As Uberti's normal, the 1849 Colt pocket pistol is well protected for shipment and takes a prodigious wiping down of all surface areas for inspection. As I have found on the majority of firearms manufactured by Uberti, the fit and finish of the 1849 Colt pocket pistol is excellent. Overall bluing and color case hardening is what to be expected from Uberti, and the overall fit of components is tight.
Unlike the 1873 Colt Single Action Army with its four-position cocking, the 1849 Colt Pocket Pistol exhibits only half-cock and full-cock positions. In the half-cock position, the cylinder is free to rotate and freely it does with no engagement from the cylinder lock. From cylinder to cylinder, the timing seems to be spot on when placing the hammer in the full cock positions. The cylinder locks up tightly with nary a hint of side to side play nor forward to rear movement. The cylinder gap, sometimes referred to as the flash gap, measures out at less than four thousandths of an inch. The cylinder is not fluted and has the stagecoach hold-up scene engraved, as with the original. The lock work is nicely enclosed in a color case hardened frame that offsets the brass of the grip frame and trigger guard and the highly polished bluing of the barrel. It needs to be noted that the rear sight is a small notch on the hammer. More commonly, the pistol was a point shooter for close quarter engagements. A rather substantial brass bead is used for the front sight. The walnut Highly glossed grip is nicely matched with the brass grip frame. As the 1849 Colt pocket pistol was just that, a pocket pistol, the absence of a full-size grip is evident. The small grip of the pistol does not aid in the shooting of. Typically, it took a skilled marksman to operate the pistol at long distances and point of impact at 25 yards was typically one foot high. Today, we might refer to the 1849 Colt pocket pistol as a belly gun, whereas, up close and personal shooting might be the order of the day. The original Colt pocket pistol came in barrel lengths from 3 inches to 6 inches. The Uberti replica has a 4-inch octagonal barrel that also incorporates the color case-hardened loading lever, which is secured at the front of the barrel. The barrel bluing is top-notch and the only markings on the barrel is beneath the loading lever. A thanks to Uberti for keeping things clean. For the most part, the 1849 Colt pocket pistol is true to the original but there are differences, albeit slight, that sets it apart from the original. While I would normally have the propensity to point out differences, these have been well documented by Guns of the Old West, and a link to that video is provided in the description. I await the necessary components to take the 1849 Colt pocket pistol to the range. However, and in the meantime, I have included a couple of links in the description where Hickok 45 and Duelist 1954 have put the 1849 Colt pocket pistol through its paces. Incidentally, and while not mentioned in the videos, the 31 caliber Colt pocket pistol loading is between a minimum of 9 grains and a maximum of 15 grains of black powder or its equivalent. The pistol accepts a round ball with a diameter of 0.330 inches.
While the Uberti reproduction of the 1849 Colt Pocket Pistol is not the same as shooting an original, it does make you appreciate modern firearms and also appreciate what people of periods past went through to use and maintain their firearms. If you are interested in period black powder revolvers, the Uberti 1849 Colt Pocket Pistol reproduction would be a worthwhile addition to a collection, or simply as an introduction to black powder revolver shooting.